Hello everybody and welcome back to Critical Rocket with a new mech video, yes, once a month and today is a glorious day. It is the Cyclops. I really, really like this mech from the 3025 original technical readout. Uh, this is the original version, the Z variant, I believe, top of my head. Uh, so I've not really made much in the way of uh, change uh, for the old uh, build there. Uh, up the armour as you need to. And uh, actually, I didn't really mess around with ammunition. I thought the ammunition was fairly decent, but you're probably going to want to change these kind of things yourself anyway. Keeping it stock for the weapons loadout didn't change the engine, uh, up the armor, added double heat sinks, and uh, obviously endo, so I could add that armor, and uh, that was about it, really. So, a uh, little bit of background about the Cyclops. Uh, it was a SLDF mech, so it's made in the 2700s originally. It was built largely as a command vehicle. It featured a pretty advanced piece of tech for the time, which is that antenna you see sticking out the back of it, the uh, Tacticon B2000 battle computer. Uh, basically, it was uh, a type of command and control unit that was uh, that allowed a holographic display for the pilot. And obviously, Mechroy Online doesn't really work like that. Mechroy Online, they decided to go with a sensor range boost. So basically, you uh, yourself get 150 meter extra uh, sensor range, and allies within a certain radius of you get an extra 100 meters to kind of simulate that command and control style of the mech. It's nice that it has that unique uh, function to it. I would like them to go back and maybe look at some other mechs and see what actual sort of minor gameplay quirks they could add to them. Maybe even giving like the Atlas, uh, what the I think the DDC, the command variant, possibly giving them that kind of bonus. Uh, so outside of that, you could say it's a 90-ton Mini Atlas. Weapon-wise, at least on this version, it's an AC-20, an SRM-4, LRM-10, and two medium lasers. Pretty much a cut-down Atlas. There's not a hell of a lot of difference weapon-wise, except for the you know amount of armor and the and the amount of weapons it can bring. Slightly uh, fewer medium lasers and an LRM-10 is over 20. As such, within uh, the realms of Battletech, it was a relatively quick, by assault standards, uh, command and control unit that could keep pace with its uh, brigade-sized units that it would be commanding. Uh, the Tacticon computer was relatively easy to damage, and uh, many opponents, when they encountered Cyclopses, generally tried to aim for the head area because it was an easy way of uh, knocking out that system. Uh, also, the ability to build any more of those computers, or at least maintain them, after the succession wars were very difficult due to uh, Stefan Amaris's forces pretty much wiping out the plant that built the uh, Cyclopses and their uh, computer systems. Uh, so with Mechroy Online, um, basically to see how this is going to be any different from others, you kind of have to look at the uh, the setups. And so I did a little bit of uh, note taking downage here. And uh, so looking at the Q variant. Um, we're looking at three energy but seven missile slots. Now we want to talk about an LRM carrier, 90 tons. Yeah, seven missile slots. Expect to see a lot of these kind of Cyclopses wandering around in the future. Uh, the Z, uh, its main strength is actually energy. It uh, has six energy slots, uh, single ballistics and two missiles. Uh, so probably a lot of pulse lasers I imagine. Some kind of VR large build is going to crop out of that. Uh, the A variant, uh, it's actually pretty uh, equal across the board. Three energy, three ballistic, three missile, so pretty straightforward. It's going to work for some people. The ADC is two energy, two ballistic, and four missile. Again, not bad. Bit bigger emphasis on missile. I could see people maybe turning that into like a splat clops. Uh, and the 11 uh, P variant. Now, I have to stress the P variant is not uh, law friendly. It doesn't actually exist within Battletech. It's made up by PGI. And it has four energy, two ballistics, and two missile slots. And then you have the hero version, which is the Sleipnir, and that has a four energy, four ballistics, and one missile. So it already comes with two Gauss rifles. So yeah, pretty nasty. After dropping in at least the standard variant uh, for a little bit, uh, a few rounds, and these two I recorded because uh, I felt like they they were all right. You know, I got a kill, did some damage in them. Um, oh, well this this part also shows off uh, the redone Crimson Strait. Now, redone doesn't mean it's, they've changed physically the map, they've just uh, beautified it, I suppose you could say. Uh, they've added time of day changes, uh, they've added more props and stuff to areas. Uh, it's, an, it's a visual improvement, a lot like uh, Viridian and others before it. They don't have too many actual like drastic changes. So you can see there that the buildings look a bit nicer. Uh, you'll see in a bit that there's more trees dotted around. I did notice that it's had a little bit of a frame dip performance wise. I don't know 
whether that was just the first time it was loading in the textures and stuff, or the first time I was sort of wandering around the map, but uh, I did notice some slight performance drops moving through parts of the map. Uh, so, if that's the case for other people, because I remember Viridian caused a lot of um, problems for players who just, they couldn't play it very well because the system was having a terrible time. Also, this patch saw the introduction of the uh, slightly redone minimap. Some complaints about that, some people saying that they can't read the grid references. I don't have as much trouble, but I do understand where people are coming from with that. It's uh, not as easy to read. It's a prettier minimap, but I don't know if it was necessary to make that change. Um, so in combat, uh, the Cyclops I've found seemed fairly, yeah, straightforward uh, as far as assaults go. It's not the fastest, doesn't really have any jump jet capability across the board anyway. Uh, there is an ECM capable variant because I do come across one of them in this video, I forget which one it is. I'm sure someone in the comments will uh, tell me. And it's, yeah, I, I like it personally. Uh, I've always liked the Cyclops so there's some bias there just from the tabletop thing but yeah, the, the Cyclops is, I think it looks great, it's a really nice visual upgrade of this mech. Uh, if you're interested in the color schemes and such, uh, they recently added the Torian Concordat uh, decals, so I was, I was having some of that shit, so I bought Torian decals and I have uh, and I bought the camo uh, for this. I don't know if I unlocked it permanently or if I just unlocked it that one time, can't remember, but uh, basically it's painted like a Torian Concordat mech. Uh, which uh, which is the, the true great uh, warriors of the Innisfere or the Torians, so you know, they will be coming in a future lore warrior. Uh, let's see, actual gameplay wise, let's uh, try and get back on top of it. Okay, so the Cyclops, the ballistic slot for the AC-20 and probably some of us uh, variants, uh, are they're going to be lower down, so there's no high mounted ballistics. Missiles are in your torsos, so be aware of where you're putting your ammunition, and the arms are quite low slung. So, much like Clan Max, you have to take into account the that kind of style of play. It's quite a tall assault, though, uh, given its relative weight. I mean, it's roughly the same height as an Atlas, so... Although it doesn't have any high-mounted weapons, it's certainly got a very, very easy to spot and very distinct uh, silhouette, so players with zoom modules and stuff have a much easier time spotting you, uh, so you have to be aware of your surroundings when using the mech. However, uh, the engine size does allow it to have a pretty decent speed. I mean, 64 kph for a 90 ton assault mech is nothing to sniff at, and obviously with speed tweak unlocked, that's going to be going at about 70 kph, and that's not up upping the engine at all. If you decide to put in something like an XL engine that's a bit bigger for more speed and obviously getting more things like ammunition or just weapon configurations in, I can see the Cyclops being quite deadly. As I said, uh, the missile variants alone is probably going to become uh, very popular for a short time. Whether it stays that, I don't know. Whether it's quite got the um, the agility to be able to keep moving at a, uh, at a good enough pace to make use of that number of missiles. But someone who wants to turn this thing into a 90-ton SRM carrier is just going to have a lot of fun. Uh, the other variants, uh, you know, there's an emphasis on energy. It, it's a nice all-rounder, basically, in terms of hard points. Nearly every variant, if I just double check my notes, nearly every variant, um, yeah, well, every variant has at least one ballistic slot or more, uh, lowest being one, highest being four, if you've got the hero variant. The CPQ is the only one that doesn't have ballistics, but that's the one with the missiles, so if you're going for that, you're not going to be worried about uh, ACs or anything like that anyway. Um, if you were on the fence about this getting it as a pack, I think you would probably like it. it depends you know it, it's a couple of things do you like assault mechs and if you do do you like your assault mechs with lots of um, all-round hard points or do you like yours being a bit more focused because obviously you can get things like the Battlemaster and the Mauler and that which are more heavily focused one way or another um, oh this is the ECM Cyclops by the way uh, so I can't read it because it's a little tiny screen but I can't see it properly but yeah that's that's the ECM variant and um, that one could also be quite useful. As that would be a good one as a team support, obviously, especially with the extended range. Uh, I think also if you can stick a Beagle Probe in there, you get, again, extended uh, sensor range. So this mech could end up being quite useful on some maps, like Polar Highlands, especially when trying to help a, an LRM-heavy team. So uh, where it finds its place in the meta, I don't know. I do really think that that missile variant is probably going to be one of the most popular variants to bring out. Oh, uh, there was a slight edit here, because there was just a boring bit of me walking back to a cat point at the end. The match is pretty much over, so 
uh, that is it. That's uh, the Cyclops. Um, if you like Assault Max and you like ones that a bit like the Atlas, basically, and the Highlander before it, yeah, this is a good mech. I do like it. Hitboxes seem fine. Armor's alright once you get it up there. So, yeah, um, big thumbs up for me from the, uh, for the Cyclops. So I hope you like this vid, and um, yeah, there'll be others coming throughout the weeks. So um, have a good one, everybody. Thanks for watching. It's Crystal Rocket, signing out.